you're anything like me that has suffered a lot from performing anxiety over the years or you are someone that still suffers quite a lot I'm doing videos uh, to discuss kind of tips and tricks how to get over it and to help you with your next performance just to bring the stress levels down so for today's video I want to discuss uh, talking about the mind and how to trick the mind to basically stop it from catastrophizing that's a word, right? Cat catastrophizing the uh, catastrophizing the future and what's going to happen in a performance. If you any, if you're someone like me, I'm. I, whenever I think that I'm about to perform, doesn't matter if it's the next day, if it's in two hours, if it's three weeks away, two months away, if it's if it's big enough, I will constantly, constantly think about it and obsess about it and um, worry about it and stress about it and just so much anxiety and um, energy goes into worrying about that performance and it really is just such a waste of time when I could be using that energy uh, directed towards more positive thoughts or something else entirely to be honest. Um, so if you've ever found that your your mind is actually the biggest problem, it's the cause of all the stress, all the worry, um, and, and it keeps trapping you into sort of um, thinking of all the possible things that could happen in a performance to prepare you for all the possible outcomes, just in case this happens or this happens or this happens, what if I fall on my face, what if I don't do the phrasing right in this, you get the picture. The mind is trying to um, prevent from all of these things happening by thinking of all of them in advance and preparing you in case one of these situations does happen. But the problem is with that is it absolutely drives you crazy. So I think the number one thing you need to do is to try to stop the mind chatter. I call it the monkey mind, so do many other people, because it's always going, beep, 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 beep. doesn't shut up. So here's one trick for you today, which I have found has really, really helped me. I think the very first thing you should do, especially if it's just before a performance, um, is greet your anxiety. It's, it's knowing that it's there because already by acknowledging the fact that you're anxious, just by saying, hello, I'm afraid, I know I'm afraid, it's okay. You have admitted that to yourself and already by doing that, you are grounding yourself and you are separating yourself from the thoughts of anxiety. When you say hello, you're separating the, the fear from your actual self. So that's the number one thing you should do. And already by doing that, you know that you are not your fear. The second thing I would do is to stop the monkey mind from going crazy and trying to just center yourself. Um, obviously there are breathing techniques, there are all kinds of things that, uh, that will help and you know you should go through all of them and see which one helps you in the moment the most. Uh, but what I have found recently that has really helped me is really trying to get the mind focused on the present moment. And you could do this any number of ways, you could do it by breathing, you could also do it by playing a game. And uh, I think one of the simplest things that I do that really, really helps me is to count backwards from 100. And I've tried just doing this, like sitting down, counting backwards from 100, but always my mind goes somewhere else. Um, I found that it's actually much more difficult to do when you're walking or you're pacing, because I don't like just to sit still and I do like to walk and to pace. Um, and I just, I just count backwards from 100 in time to my footsteps. Um, to make it even more difficult, you should count backwards from 100 if you know a second language or if you're learning a language. Uh, do it in that second language or the language that you're learning because it forces your mind to concentrate on the numbers and not of what's ahead. And already by doing that, it centers you and keeps you in the present moment. Your, mount, your mind is bound to wander, but every time that happens, just bring it back and really concentrate on the numbers and counting down to 100, uh, from 100. The other thing that I found really, really helps is uh, to do a tongue twister. And for the same reason, you have to do a pretty difficult one. It can't be too easy, otherwise your mind will just slip up and go slip back into worrying and, and anxious thoughts. Uh, so it has to be reasonably difficult so that you're forced to concentrate on what you're saying. Um, I had one written here that I learned the other day. It was actually, I really like it because if you don't concentrate, 
on what you're saying, um, you, you actually will end up swearing a lot. So this is the tongue twister I learnt. So it is, I slit a sheet, a sheet I slit, and on that slitted sheet I sit. I slit a sheet, a sheet I slit, and on that slitted sheet I sit. I slit a sheet, a sheet I slit, and on that slitted sheet I sit. Yeah, try saying that fast, like five times in a row. Okay, good luck with that. Um, and any other tongue twisters that you, that you would like to do, I mean, please, anything you think will help you, just take your mind from off, off the current fear that it's going and looping around and it just doesn't want to stop talking. So I guarantee you that would, that will really, really help. Um, the other good thing about doing tongue twisters is that if you are a vocalist or a, a woodwind or a brass player, uh, it really helps uh, to warm up the voice and to warm up the tongue and the lips and everything. So you may, you may do that in your warm up anyway, but just before a performance, uh, before you're about to go out on stage, before you do an exam or anything, try these two things. Just try, if you can't walk around the room and you're sitting in a waiting room or something, just sit quietly. So remember the number one thing, uh, greet your anxiety, just say hello to it, because again, that separates you from your anxiety. Your fear is something that you're observing and you're saying hello to it, okay, I know you're there, it's fine, you're allowed to be there, because remember, it's your mind trying to protect you. And then what your mind will do is it will try and foresee all the possible outcomes of what you're about to go into, so it can help you to uh, run away if you need to, but of course that's not going to help you, is it? So you really, really need to do something to calm the mind down. And the best technique I've found is just to take your mind off it. So after you've greeted your anxiety, then play a little game with yourself. Count backwards from 100, do it in another language. Um, I, it helps me to walk around the room and do it in time to my walking. Of course, if that's not possible, just, just do it in your head. Um, and the more difficult it is, the more difficult the language, the more you're, you're forced to concentrate. Same thing, um, if that gets boring for you, try a tongue twister. Try something that's reasonably hard to say or reasonably hard to remember and try and saying that really, really quickly, correctly uh, for multiple times in a row and that will force your brain to calm down and focus on the, uh, the task at hand. Another really awesome exercise um, which I, I will provide a link uh, to the guy who uh, I got it off, is a link on YouTube. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful guy. Um, uh, it's, it's a whole lecture, like an hour long, but he talks about fear and he talks about techniques to help with fear. And this is with, due to public speaking, but it, it's the same for performance. It's the same monkey mind, um, calming the monkey mind. So uh, what you could try as well is um, you look at things around the room and you have to physically point at it and say what it is not, okay? So for example, um, shoe, horse, lamppost, uh, t-shirt, and pointing at it and saying what it's not is kind of tricking your mind into saying, to getting away from the logic. Already, your mind will probably try to stockpile things and it will try to categorize things. So if you say horse, you might go monkey, chimpanzee, goose. It will categorize things into animals. That's what the brain does. It's the same thing if you start saying t-shirt, shoes, pants, socks. It categorizes it into clothes. Really try to force yourself to think of completely different words and pointing at something and saying what it is not um, stops your brain from logically trying to catch on to something and again makes forces you to stay in the present moment because you're forced to think of something uh, difficult and surprisingly when you first start doing this game it is actually really really hard <laughs> and I could catch my brain actually categorizing everything and it was actually really hard not to do that so uh, that's another technique for you um, again if you're like in a room full of people and you're a bit embarrassed to go you know horse shoe whatever just just say it quietly to yourself just look at an object and move on to the next one again that forces your brain into the present moment and I swear to you it really really calms it down Anyway, that's something that helped for me. Maybe it will help for you. Try it next time. Uh, it's also just a fun thing to do if you, you find yourself worrying about something in general and your mind just won't quit 
and you want to get off the topic, I guarantee you just doing exercises that force you into the present moment will really, really help with that worry and that anxiety and, and stress and fear. So guys, I hope that really helped and uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care and have a wonderful performance. You rock. Okay. Bye.